This is Chicago's very own WGN Evening News at 6. More than 100 life rings are now in position along Chicago's lakefront, placed there as part of a new law that will hopefully make Lake Michigan a safe place to play. WGN's Brona Tumulty is at the lake in the Rogers Park neighborhood with more on that. Brona? Good evening, guys. Yeah, there is a stone pier right behind me here over my right shoulder called Pratt Pier. That's where 19-year-old Miguel Cisneros jumped into the water last August. He had he never made it out alive because there was no life ring to throw to him. If there had been one, he may have been able to get out of the water. Now, 115 of these are in place along the lakefront. Say they saw his, saw his face, but they couldn't reach out. Maria Diaz is talking about the day her 19-year-old son, Miguel Cisneros, drowned last August, with witnesses watching from mere feet away, unable to do anything to help him. There were witnesses that heard him call for help, saying, help me, I'm drowning. And they were very close, they say within three, four feet with, uh, from him. But unfortunately, there was nothing that they could throw at him so he could grab on. So they literally heard him cry for help saw him go underwater. Now, 115 life rings are finally in place along the city's 22 beaches. The measure signed into law yesterday by Governor Pritzker. How foolish it was for so many years for the Park District to refuse uh, our constituents' requests to, to put safety equipment at the piers. State Representative Kelly Cassidy proposed the Lake Michigan Rescue Equipment Act back in October, which affects not just Chicago's beaches, but all of them, up to Wisconsin and down to Indiana telling us for far too long the community has been crying out for safety equipment along the shore. It really does seem like a no-brainer. For example, 2020 alone had one of the deadliest summers in recent memory on the water, with 56 drownings recorded. The new law requires public and private beaches plus drop-off points to have rescue equipment like flotation devices, and safety signage needs to be posted in high incident areas. I'm really happy that the Park District finally moved on this, um, and it means a lot to the families who've lost a lot loved ones and to all of the organizers and community members who've been asking for this for years. It gives districts up and down the waterfront a year to get all of that in check, but Chicago hit the ground running even before the beaches opened up last weekend. I have to express gratitude that they're implementing the law a year in advance so that this swim season can be safer. With the hope being this season, these can potentially save another family from such a preventable tragedy. First, I want to say thank you for everything. Thank you for everyone who contributed because yes, Miguel was the phase that I guess this needed to be put on, but people have been working on this for years and years trying to, to get some action going. And unfortunately, it took my son's life, but I, uh, we're making something a little more bearable from a tragedy. Now, we showed you this at 5, but we want to show you again at 6.30 because the more people that know, the better. It's very simple to open these if you do need to. There's a little lever here. You just pull down on it, and that should pop open for the life ring to be able to, to get taken out of there inside. We did hear as well from the representative that a couple of those life rings have already been stolen. They've only been in place for two weeks, so don't be that person. Don't be an idiot. You could cost someone their life if you steal one of these. We're down on the lakefront. Bruno Tumulty, WGN News.